What's up? It's Hello Real. We're out here at the Black Joy Parade and <laughs> Black Joy. We're all about blackness today. The Black Joy Parade. About blackness and black excellence. So it's getting volcanic out here. It's nothing like the Black Joy Parade. Nothing yeah, like it. nothing <laughs> like it. Nothing like it. You see nothing but smiles over here. A gentleman here that's full of black joy. Okay, so we have the Black Joy Parade. Yeah. What brings you joy? My family. My family. Your family. Um, in July, I'll be married to my husband for 27 years. Oh, congratulations! Uh, what brings me joy? My children, as you can see, they're kind of running around here, back here. Here's one of them. My son. My family definitely bring me joy. I um, This whole weekend I've had a couple of vendor events and been away from my son, so I'm looking forward to getting back to that joy. Selling our glasses and making people. <laughs> he <laughs> like money. <laughs> Tell us what brings you joy. Traveling. Guys brings me joy and being comfortable in my own skin, that brings me joy. Okay, okay. And this we got some... grandson right here. Hello, what's your name? What's your name? Cass. Yes, so cute. You know what brings me joy? Color. Color brings me joy. I love vibrant colors. Colors evoke emotion and like all of my head wraps have different names. They all evoke something different and like joy, not even just joy, but just different things. What brings me joy is knowing that who I am can make other people happy. What I could do can make other people happy. And like, I don't know, people just like my vibe when I smile and stuff. So that's what brings me joy. Like, that's what hit my emotion. It's like, if I know what I'm doing is helping other people, then that's always lit, you know? So yeah, it's not about what you know, it's who you know, and I'm just here to spread love and get paid. So, you know, that's all it is. Magnifying the glory the most side through the beauty of first and foremost women. Okay, love that. You know, and you know, just seeing people happy. You know, when you see beauty, you see yourself. You know, Very true. You look at my jewelry and say, oh, that's beautiful. Then you're looking at yourself and you see your reflection. I really like that. Oh, that's the truth. My faith brings me joy. And just being around all my brothers and sisters in a positive way. We are living in a detrimental time right now that we just need to really stick together. Everyone has just been smiling. And all these beautiful women and men, that just really brings my heart joy to see so many black people uplifting each me other. Too. Yes, I love it. When they called it the Black Joy Parade, I really see black ash joy. Excuse my language. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Some black ass joy. Hello real. Hello real. Welcome back. Hey, we're at the Black Joy Parade and right now we have Felicia Gold. Jameer. Please introduce yourselves to our audience. Hi, I'm Callie, one of the founders of Blessed Kiss Cosmetics. Hi, my name is Monika. I'm the co-founder of Blessed Kiss Cosmetics. My name is Natalie Taylor. Tamisha Booker. My name is Timothy B. I'm Nicole Trainer. My name's Shaz. My name is my name Shaz. It's one word. M Y N A M E S C H A W Z. That's who I be. Now tell us who you are and what you do, sir. Baba G. I'm a official jeweler for the Black Panther, Marvel's Black Panther. Wakanda forever. <laughs> so tell us, how did you end up becoming the jeweler for um, Black Panther? I was sitting at my workbench, praying, meditating, and said I wanted my jewelry and the, would love to have it in the movie. I prayed and the, my phone rang. And uh, they, you know, inquired who was I, Baba G. I said yes. They said everywhere they was in, uh, in L.A. shooting a movie and they were around looking for certain items everywhere they went. My name was saying, Baba G, Baba G. So, you know, I said from their mouth to God's ears and it worked. And so far, here we are. Uh, can I ask, where are you based out of? Are you from the Bay? Uh, LA, LA and Atlanta. Yeah, two movie capitals. Right, right. You're where you're supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about your pieces and like where people can buy it and okay. what's, what like materials and things like that. The history of this here. This, this necklace represents the Pan-African Film Festival I used to make their trophies, so normally a, 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 a black movie would be aired at the Pan-African Film Festival. Instead, the Pan-African Film Festival is aired in the movie. Oh, dope. Right here, these are the divas. 
I was very known, uh, popular with those throughout the years. People know me for the craftsmanship of that. The rings that she's wearing, that's, that's called uh, metal henna. Uh, the necklace she has on the bottom, I produced that 18 years ago in Africa, sold it twice, and look at where it wind up at. So it had its destiny. Right, so that's a little history behind that. You can find it, ancientfutureandbeyond.com. Y'all heard that? Ancientfutureandbeyond.com. You can follow me on Instagram as Baba G Yami and Facebook. Um, take my phone number if you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's do that one kind of. Forever. So tell us what you got going on here. What's your? I see you got makeup, but what's your specialty? Well, we have a full line of lip products, and our products range from we have. Uh, matte lipsticks, cream lipsticks. We also have our Glamour Dust here. I um, use it as a, a lip topper. Um, it goes best well with the liquid mattes, our bold liquid mattes. And we also have our velvet, velvet liquid matte lipsticks. And we also have our organic vegan lip glosses as well. Okay, I'm feeling it. I love your lips. Ladies, show, show the camera what you guys I, I like, like the nude. Yes, I have on a color called Accomplished with Blaze. Um, it's a lip topper that goes on top of it for the shimmer. Oh, I love yes. it. Yes. So I also have on Be Mine. It's a liquid lip matte, and I have um, Blaze also on top of mine. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. I have She Ready. <laughs> it's she actually, ready. yes, She Ready. Hey. It's this one here. Okay, for all you beauty enthusiasts out there watching us. The glitter is very, very fine. It's yeah? cosmetic glitter. And so that can be used like on eyelids, yes, yes. cheeks, Absolutely. your lips. Yes. Goes. And we also have vegan lip pencils as well. And lip like lip pencils. Lip, yes, lip liners, yes. Trying to get the verbiage down. Okay, okay. So where can our viewers find you? You can find us on blesskiss.com, also on Instagram, Bless Kiss Cosmetics, and also on our Facebook, Bless Kiss. Are you guys based out of the Bay? We are. We're based out of the Richmond area. We have an online store. We don't actually have a store location, but all of our products are online for purchase. Okay. Oh, oh real fun. quick. You got a plug. Okay, so what do you, you have a business too? Is that right? Okay, tell, tell our viewers about your business. Okay, so our business, we sell lots of different kinds of glasses. Um, like we have Superfly, we have Superstar with glitter in the glasses, um, and we also have a whole bunch of variety of glasses. Okay, so these young kings got their own business started. Look at that. So they have their own line of sunglasses. Check them out. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us. So what you out here doing? Just going to check out the black community and see how beautiful it is. Is it beautiful? What have you done so far today? Uh, I checked out the music, the skateboards, and just exploring more. What do you plan on doing, and how do you plan on bringing black joy today? I plan on reaching out and taking part with my community. <laughs> so to, right now we have here with us, tell us your name. My name is Natalie Taylor, and I'm, with, uh, I'm the owner of Royal House of Raps. Your hair wrap right now is very beautiful. Thank yes. you. I, I really want to up my hair wrap game, but I just don't know where to start. So what, for people like me, what, what would you say? So what I would say is you have to be bold, you have to be confident, and most importantly, you have to think of yourself as you are, which is royal. So those are the, the fundamentals of rocking a head wrap, because if you're not confident, you're going to walk around like you ain't confident. So just come with the boldness and that hella realness. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't have a problem with that. <laughs> okay. So we see at your booth you have a picture here with Lupita Nyong'o and then Insecure. So yes. tell us how did that come about and tell us about your hustle. Okay. So the hustle is very real. I'm an actor, and you know I am not one to wait for people to put money in my pocket. So I was like, let me start a business um, that I really enjoy, and I love African prints. They're vibrant. They're beautiful. Um, and I'm all for the culture. So I created my company three and a half years ago and um, I've just been so blessed to have been recognized through, you know, I get a lot of exposure through Instagram. Instagram has been really, really good to me. So I was approached um, by one of the actors who's one of the door Malaysia um, and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm working on a project. And she was like, I really can't tell you who's in it but I'll tell you one person, and I'm like, who? She's like, Lupita. She's like, um... Like, sold. Sold. Where do I send some raps? 
So <laughs> I shipped wraps off to them while they were filming in Atlanta. And uh, next thing I know, I didn't know, she posted this picture on her Instagram page and I was like, oh my gosh, she's, she didn't tag me though. Lupita, you need to tag, what's your Instagram so people can tag you? It's Royal House of Wraps on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> so what type of materials do you use? Do you like go, where do you go to get your material? Um, I've traveled to London to get material. Um, they're all 100% African prints. Um, I shop online to, from some boutiques that are actually based in Atlanta. Um, I shop downtown LA. There's a place down there that I like to go to, but just various places, but they're all Ankara, they're from Ghana, West Africa. So a lot of different places. Okay. Who is the one misbehaving today? Oh, her name is Divine Denim. Uh -huh. Okay. And she, yeah, she's she's like, you know, today I'm not working. She's like, it's too cold for her. Oh, it's too cold. She she's not no. She's no. She's used to 80 degrees plus. She's like no. She's like I'm done. She's from Africa, so. She yeah, she's African. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. We really enjoyed it. Thank you guys. All right, Tamisha, can you tell us what you have going on here at the Black Joy Parade? Yes. I am the owner and author of Hey Carter Books, and I am striving to increase diversity in children's books. So our kids have books that look like them and reflect their experiences, especially now in a world where our young men grow up to be boy, grow up to be men and feared as boys. It is so important that they have images that look like them. I love it. So, do you have children? Like, what inspired? Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Uh, yes. When I had my son, um, I was reading books to him and realized that there weren't a lot of books that looked like him. And I definitely was like, I can do that, and started to write my own books. And my background is in psychology, so that's the foundation of the work that I do. All of the books are about building self-confidence and pride in young children. That's really important. So, thank you. Thank you for doing that for our young kings. Um, so, where can our viewers find you? Yes, you can go to uh, www.haycarterbooks.com. You can also find them on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com. Okay, y'all get that? Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Tell us your name, what you got working on. My name is Timothy B, and I'm working on a live painting of my man Beejus, the uh, West Oakland native, a West Oakland original. That's what I'm working on. And, Ha <laughs> He said that he's a cool ass brother right here. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. But yeah, yeah, that's uh that's one reason why I just, you know, I came out like how I did. So how long have you been painting? What's your background in, in art? Um, I've been painting for the past six years, but I've been creating art since elementary school. I had got started maybe like the first grade was like the first first time I, you know, took a class and you know, actually like studied and worked on my techniques and so forth. Like my mother, she had discovered the talent and she just kept me in it. Okay, I love that. Shout out to mama. Yeah, she's, she's around here somewhere. Hello, Nicole. Thank you for talking with us. So we're at the Black Joy Parade festivities. Um, let us know what you're doing out here. All right, so what I'm doing here is just trying to raise awareness about a new biomedical HIV prevention tool. It's called PrEP, which is pre-exposure prophylaxis. It's a daily pill that you take once a day to prevent HIV. It's similar to the use of birth control pills where women take birth control once a day to prevent pregnancy. PrEP is just, we just out here trying to let everyone know about it, especially in the black community because there's such high disparities of HIV and other sexual health disparities. Needless to say, PrEP may not be for you. It may not be, you may not, depending on your sexual risk, you may not need to use it, but everyone should know about PrEP. And I believe that the entire black community just needs to know that there's another HIV prevention uh, method, just like condoms. Okay, yes. so I see that you work for the city. Yes, of San Francisco. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> for like our viewers out there who don't know who is interested in PrEP, like where would they start? Do they go to their doctor? Like what yeah. questions do you ask? Yes, so PrEP is um, needs to be prescribed by your doctor. However, it's covered by many insurance companies. If you don't have insurance, you can go to any public health clinic and you can actually access PrEP for free. There's many locations here in Alameda County that also offer 
prep like the East Bay Clinic they also offer prep as well um, you can go to askaboutprep.com at their website and we have um, prep access locations in the East Bay San Francisco as well as the South Bay as well yeah. okay thank you for all the information Oh, L.A., yes, they have a huge prep program. All the counties, San Francisco, L.A., New York, some places in the, the South, everyone nationally, we are trying to get to zero. And that means getting to zero um, HIV deaths zero transmission and especially zero stigma. We want to talk positive about folks who are HIV positive can have healthy relationships with also individuals who are negative. So we want to be really sex positive. You can get PrEP across the country. Okay, 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 y'all got that. Um, <laughs> so do you want to plug your, like do you have like a personal um, Instagram that you want to? Yes, um, one you can go to at prep support is our Instagram um, hashtag and our Instagram panel. We're on Facebook at prep supports. We're also at Twitter on prep supports. We have some personal stories. I myself am an openly prep user. It's extremely safe. You can text AX prep to 21333 and we have a mobile commons that will answer your questions. You can also um, chat with the live chat for um, personal please prep me.org. Someone will chat with you live to get more prep information and you can be anywhere in the country to access that information. Okay, that's really important because a lot of people got questions and too scared to ask. So Absolutely. don't be scared. Get all that. Ask your questions. It will be okay. Yes. Thank you yes. so much. That Thank was so you. much fun. Of course, that was fun. Thank uh, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you doing out here at the Black Joy Parade? So to be real, I'm actually out here. I have edibles. I make cannabis treats. Yeah, I make edibles. Oh, I make edibles. On beat treats. Everything's on beat. I'm here with my girlfriend. If she's, oh yeah, she's behind me. Yeah. Hey, girl. All right, all right. And uh, we just came. You know, we black. You know, I have fun. Again, my name's Shaz. <laughs> and I rap and shit, so you know, we out here. So where can people find you if they want to get some edibles? Everywhere. Uh, Instagram, all my stuff is one word, literally. My name's Chaz, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that, YouTube. So I'm going to follow y'all on YouTube, subscribe, everything hella real. You know, yeah, so. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the love. All right. So how long have you been doing edibles? And are your edibles hella strong or are they like kind of chill? Okay, so I've been... On and off, make edibles for like two years now. I just started really, really like doing it. My menu, you know, keeping everything on track uh, back in June. And then so people say my people are different. Like people, you know, some people eat the whole thing. I, I'm slow gonna say don't eat the whole thing. I like to, you know, I have high doses and stuff like that. It do, it is a chill, but some people get slumped. Like you know, it just depends. Like it depends on the person. So yeah, so yeah, it's fun. I have fun. Okay, I heard that. And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate this interview. Y'all are beautiful. Hey, if you can, go get my music. My music is everywhere. My album is called Let Me Introduce Myself because my name's Chaz. And uh, you know, it's fun. What's up, Felicia? <laughs> Doing my thing. My business is Nubian Queen Natural Beauty. I make all natural hair products and beauty products. I make shea butter, body soufflés. I have black soap, body oil, everything I do in my home. My website is www.nubianqueennb.com. This is my famous shea butter. Everything basically is in glass. Um, when you have plastic, plastic locks in the germs and they do not breathe. And it leaks into the product, product itself, yeah. right? And it's not good. So when you put your hands in it and she puts her hands in it, yeah. basically it's not good. At all, oh, I see. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But glass breathes and it's able to come out. You know, I did not know that. Thank you. Okay. And um, um, what do you? Okay, so can we open the top? You sure can. Which which set do you have right now? This right here is a strawberry rose. Strawberry rose. It's a strawberry can rose. I, yeah. So can we? Go ahead. Go ahead. One thing about shea butter, you only need a little bit, and it goes a very long way. So if you have it on. You make these at home? Girl? Yes, I do. All my products come from Ghana. They're imported. Get out to the motherland. <laughs> oh um, and one thing about the shea butter, it takes between 25 and 50 years for a tree to produce the fruit. The men and women pick the, tr the little uh, fruit, and inside is the shea butter itself. Right. 
and like so seeds, right? it's like it's, it's about the size of my finger right here the roundness of my finger and the butters inside okay and then they cook it and it's shea butter okay um, what, I'm, what I try to do is bring awareness to our people when you go to a Hispanic store and you buy a product it says a product of Mexico yes. Yes. correct yes or when you buy a toy it will say made in Taiwan mm -hmm. okay why can't we buy beauty products and it says shea butter on it and it says product of Africa right okay so I feel that I'm an advocate for the country to be able to represent us as a unity and what better way to celebrate it is at the Black Joy Parade. Yes. <laughs> and I know you guys cannot smell this but you guys it smells delicious. I wish I could eat it <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Y'all need smell-o-vision right now no, like this is not a joke. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. So for our viewers to check you out, where can they find you so they can? Okay. I live in Castro Valley, but I do have a website. My website is Nubian Queen N B N is in Nancy, B is in Boy dot com. Alright, did you get that? And so we are at the Black Joy Parade. Wait, you have to tell Okay. You had to tell us about this home treatment that you were talking yeah, about to us. Yeah. Well, we gotta our viewers need to know about this. Okay, what I do basically is I do free pampering sessions. If you go to my website, I have contact information if you're interested. If you have between 8 and 10 women, and you have a minimum sales of $400 as far as my pampering session, I give the host 100 bucks of free product. What does that consist of? I bring out tubs, rose petals, and bath salt. You soak your feet. I also do a custom um, sugar scrub. And that goes on your feet. You put plastic bags on your feet and it acts as a vapor and it softens your feet. You rinse your feet off. I provide the towels. You dry your feet off and then I put shea butter on your feet and that's my free pampering session. Okay, so all you ladies out there with the bachelorette party coming up. Hey, black boy joy. Uh, divorce parties. <laughs> oh, you just got crusty feet. All your, you and your girls got crusty feet. Come hit her up, and she will she'll bring a party to your house, right? I'll take your skin from ordinary to extraordinary. Hey. <laughs> okay. So, and last question: We ask everyone that we interview. We are hella real. The name of our show. Yes. So you. I like that. Fill in the blank. You are hella real. What else? That's it. Hella real. Hella fill in the blank. Real. I am Hella Baba G. Hella. What are you, Hella? Truthful. All right, I like that. Thanks for talking to us. Okay, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay. You are Hella fill in the blank. Fabulous. Hella fabulous. Hella fine. Hella fine like wine. Hella. Beautiful. Yeah, queen. <laughs> beautiful. I am hella cool. Hella cool. <laughs> hella giving. Hella amazing. You are hella nice. Hella nice. Oh, <laughs> we need that. Okay. You are hella supportive. I'm, I'm hella sharp. I'm hella, hella sharp. Good. You know, uh, I'm hella aware. Yeah. Aware. I'm hella aware. Yeah. A lot of people think they woke. I'm out here. I don't know if I'm woke or if I'm asleep, but I'm but aware. aware. I'm aware. I'm aware of myself. I see shit. What up? Black. Hey. All my black people are hella amazing, hella brilliant, hella creative, and most importantly, we are hella powerful. Okay?